Welcome to Dancing with AI. I'm Matthew Yedlin, an Associate Professor in Electrical and Computer Engineering and a faculty in residence at UBC Studios. I have taught a machine learning course in AI, and I'd like to introduce to you my TA, Armin Sadat. Hey everyone, I'm Armin. I'm a Master's student at Electrical and Computer Engineering Department at UBC, and happy to be here. In this video, we're going to show how to use ballroom dancing to demonstrate pattern matching in AI. But well, let's first start with some definitions of some of the terms that we're going to use. So what is AI? Artificial intelligence is a series of techniques that try to mimic the thinking and reasoning of humans. Machine learning refers to a family of methods that learn patterns from data and improve themselves. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning, and it's mostly including uh, of artificial neural networks, which are inspired by biological neurons in animals and humans. Now, nowadays, a very popular subset of deep learning methods are large language models, or LLMs in short. And what exactly is an LLM? LLM is a large language model. It's an artificial neural network used for general purpose language processing, including text generation, and very importantly, prediction. The LLMs are based on an architecture called the transformer, which in turn utilizes a concept called attention. Attention is a pattern matching implementation that after training and cataloging allows us to explore the grammar and language and therefore is a very powerful technique. So we're going to find out how attention works. Well, that's a little crowded. Okay, so on the right side, you can see the general architecture of transformers. And the heart of it, as we said before, you can see the attention blocks. So this attention stuff is modeled by this equation that I'm pointing out there. Wow, that's kind of messy. Well, it looks complicated. Can we do anything about it, Matt? Well, why don't we try some visualization instead of this hieroglyphics of mathematics? Ideal visuals will give us a representation of pattern matching. So a simple way to do it is to look at dance patterns, a very good way to describe matching of patterns. And we'll start our views with the waltz, which is in three time and danced by the blue couple. This is followed by the Roomba, which is danced by the green couple, and the Roomba is in slow four beat. It is a Latin dance. Finally, we have the cha-cha-cha, which is in four time, faster than the rumba, and is a wonderful, joyful, and alluring Latin dance. Well, Armin, what did you think of these three dances? Well, they were all very synced and matched together, but I was wondering, what if the patterns don't match at all? Well, we know that the rumba and the cha-cha-cha are four beats, so let's mix four beats with three beats, and we'll dance, have the waltz with the rumba, and see what happens. So what happened? 
Well, the patterns didn't match and there was a lot of lateral shifting. It was pretty obvious. What else can we do? Uh, so how about if we mix the Roomba with cha-cha-cha and see what happens then? Oh, what a good idea. No surprise, partial match. Yeah, of course, because the cha-cha-cha used to be called triple rumba, triple on the last step. Well, we've seen a visual representation of the pattern matching that's used in the attention in the transformer, which is used in many of the large language models. This type of pattern is used, of course, in chat GPT. Yes, so stay tuned for more videos explaining pattern matching and the math behind ChatGPT.